Where's Tucker? Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike, or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. I'm telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry, even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's got to get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. I'm not finished. We'll make it quick, will you, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al! Are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alkai. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig? You want me out there in the shit? Chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? Oh, I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long has it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? Because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. <laughs> Jesus. You keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here, with men like you doing your jobs. Damn right we keep burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise. It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Cause that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work. Don't make me go get Cyrus. 
lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Forks, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Tuck, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll Get give you all the credits you can spend. To work. Okay, okay. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. <laughs> Alcott, what do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped a ripper camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if you knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if you'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, <laughs> what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? I don't want you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Can I get anything else for you? Thanks. Come by if you still need something. I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. We can't head north until I get this bike fixed up. Copeland it is.
Hey, man. Let me get you out of there. You're gonna die out here. I know of a camp where it's safe. Where? Where? I'll go! I'll go! Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Thank you so much! I thought I was gonna die in there! Name's Deacon. They know who I am. Stay off the main roads. Don't stop. Stop by when I can. Deacon out. Tucker to Deacon St. John. Are you listening? I talked to Alki the other day. Some of the other men. I know you've been doing runs for the camp. I just wanted to say that. for that son of a bitch Mark Copeland, no doubt. <laughs> okay, what were you saying? Doing runs for that son of a bitch Mark Copeland, no doubt. I get the feeling he doesn't like me much. Boozer, I mean. 
Like I said, I ain't his old lady peeking out. This infestation zone. I guess I'll come back here and finish burning this infestation zone later. Let him in. No trouble, okay? Take it. I was working at the Fairmont Elementary School the day everyone got sick and died. You can imagine, right? I mean, I was teaching hey. letters to a bunch Manny. of people. Manny. first grade. You looking for something? Alright. See you around, Dick. What do you need? Hey, hey Cope. I think Liam was bringing you this. Oh, Deke. <laughs> you made a wise choice. Wise choice. Uh, you go see Manny. Maybe he can help you with that bike of yours. <laughs> hey, been seeing you around. Hey, Manny. Yeah, I got some good stuff in stock. Should have more stuff later.
bike? Could use an upgrade. Anything else? I'll wrap that up for you. Oh, good choice, man. Good choice. This should last you for a while. Hey, you take good care of her. Yo, you need fuel? Should have more stuff later. All right, check back later, man. See ya. Outside of farewell. I was home, I'm sick as hell. I tried calling my wife at work. I just got busy saying, Hey, what's going on? And I heard the chopper fly by overhead. Nero, on a loud Hope says you've been helping out around the camp. He won't say it, but he appreciates it. We heard they were sending Manny, the what's going on? I'm gonna look around for it. I got up, got in my car, tried to get in. How's it going, D? Well, the dog started riding. Well, they weren't mobs. You, uh, need something, man? What's up, Manny? Stud, huh? That's too much information, Manny. I never saw my wife again. First time I ran into a freak here, I damn well nearly shit my pants. Hey, Deke. Manny, I'm still not happy with you. Deacon, we're keeping an eye on that gas tank. The one with the custom paint job you've been asking about. Manny. Hey. Deke, you there? Boozer, why the hell aren't you in your damn bunk? I couldn't sleep. You, you remember what I said back in the tunnel? Boozer, I... Okay, look. I go up there because there's freaks up there. I kill them here, I kill them there. Bounties are all the same to me. Then what are the tulips for, huh? I saw them, Deke. Here on the table. This morning. The same ones she had at the wedding. I remember. I'm not gonna... Listen, Boozer, get some rest. I gotta go. Deacon out. And then the tulips, Boozer, there's stone crop. Get it.
This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Broke another goddamn razor this morning. In our supposed global utopia. products from around the world, we got the shittiest products cheap foreign labor could churn out. Everything in the last 50 years was built to break, so that you could buy once, buy again, buy, buy, buy. You always had to get the new car, the new phone, the new this and that, all to feed the beast of crass commercialism. You want something built to last? You couldn't go overseas, nope. You need real, hard-working Americans at the helm. When we build something, it'll stand the test of time. And the same hands that built this country, they'll withstand anything this new world throws at us. Our roads bend, friends, but they do not break. And neither. I'm just gonna grab some shot eye. Ready to go back at it. 